What's up guys and welcome back to my channel where I help black teens better understand and embrace their natural curly hair. In today's video, we're gonna be covering the differences between straight hair and curly hair. But instead of listing a bunch of different variables and factors that go into that, we're gonna simplify things and go more conceptual with this video. This is actually the start to a series in which I make shorter two to five minute videos instead of the longer ones, so we can focus and really narrow down on one topic. It makes no sense for me to just spit information at you guys if you don't fully comprehend it. That's why I want to make shorter videos so that we could spend more time on one thing and broaden our understanding of our hair. Before we get started, if you've been struggling to grow your afro and you would like some help, I actually have a free men's afro hair checklist going over the top 10 tips to take your hair to the next level. If that sounds interesting, it'll be one of the first links in the description. It's important that you understand the difference between straight hair and curly hair because you cannot take care of them the same way. In fact, the quicker that you understand this, the easier your hair journey will become. I could go into all the details of how straight hair has more of a circular follicle cross section, whereas curly hair has more of an oval shape, but that wouldn't really be much use to you. Instead, I'd rather use an analogy that everyone can grasp. Think of hair types in terms of households. Every household has different rules and customs. For example, in one household, it may be customary to take off your shoes before you enter the house. Whereas in another household, maybe they don't care about it as much. Similarly, in one home, it may be okay for everyone to eat in their rooms. Whereas in another, it's customary for everyone to come and eat at the table. The point I'm trying to make here is that the customs in one household may differ from another. Similarly, the practices that are encouraged and benefit one hair type may not necessarily benefit another. So let's bring it back to curly hair and straight hair. With straight hair, it's acceptable to wash your hair two to three times per week. This is because straight hair tends to get oily as the days go by. However, this wouldn't really benefit curly hair as curly hair has a problem with retaining moisture. Hence, frequently washing your hair with shampoo will tend to dry it out if you have a tighter curl pattern. But let's use another example. With straight hair, it's easier to comb and brush through your hair frequently. But if you brought that concept over to curly hair, you would experience a lot of breakage. And breakage is simply when the ends of your hair snap off due to mechanical stress. Now, obviously, I'm not an expert in straight hair because I don't have straight hair. But the point that I'm trying to make is certain practices do not carry over. So it's very important for you to view your natural type three, type four hair as its own separate category. Natural Afro hair abides by its own rules. So the quicker you understand that, the easier this process is going to become. And there you have it. I want you to walk away from this video with a new understanding of your natural Afro hair. Because if you can't understand that we're working in a different ball game with a different set of rules, then the things that I teach you aren't gonna click as quickly. As always, if you found any value in this video, please give it a like. It really helps the algorithm bring my videos to the right people. Let me know what you think about this video structure. Do you prefer shorter videos that attack one topic or do you like longer videos that encompass a bunch? If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or you can reach out to me through Instagram, which I am very active on and I will leave the link to any and all socials in the description. And if you like this video, you might actually like this one. So I advise you check it out. That's all for me and I'll see you next time.